It's January 7th, 2022. I'm just quietly sitting here. I'm looking out the window <clears throat> at the way the sky is painted and just thinking to myself. I listened to a song on the Alexa <clears throat> from a Disney movie called Frozen. Um, where it goes through a rendition of Do You Want to Build a Snowman? Snow being what we, I found on the rooftop today outside my window and in the trees. And it also being S, a sound for now. Um, and as I look out the window, I'm trying to think, I mean, when I arrived... I had a really, my parent, my mom had a really hard birth. When she carried me, I didn't move in the body cavity whatsoever. I always say it's because I never want to enter this world. I hated her before I entered this world. Um, but then the actual birthing part was difficult. She shook violently her whole body. She had a hard recovery thereafter, which is part of whatever in the galaxy being broken and I having proof of it in several methods um, by source um, and human confirmation. So that happened. Um, so the galaxy between planet, solar system, and Milky Way, somewhere in between at galaxy level, at that point in 1978 was broken because of the violent entry, then having to watch my grandmother deteriorate in body longevity, like muscular dystrophy, ALS, that kind of thing. Um, the human is not. I had to watch her deteriorate and wither away and lose the ability to walk and so on and so forth. So the galaxy is broken. The planet that I entered was somewhat broken and not functioning properly as a house for human life. Um, so I look at that in actuality and proof. And then knowing those facts and knowing that somewhere on this planet with ear things, there exists someone who knows that I arrived in this manner and fashion and that I belong to something else. I already had a family member come visit me in Lloyd Harbor, make claim to marry me and then disappeared, and I do not know what holds him out and away from me this long, and whatever. So, there are humans and ear things that know that the galaxy is broken, know that the planet is broken, and yet there's some fight or ability of humans to keep the astronomer, astrologer, cosmonaut, whatever, astronaut, whichever word works in numerology and such of who I actually belong with, <clears throat> the humans have somehow been able to keep him out and away from me and they don't allow him to be near me and for me to be brought to him and be safe. Instead, I've just gotten sick and wasted a whole lot of precious time and time frame that should have been used in galactic and planetary things in fixing the living, moving project that humans coexist within. So then I sit here and I try to think to myself, well... What have I witnessed humans 
have done to force me to stay here and keep who I need away from me? What have they built? What did they spend their time doing in their corporate espionage pleasure package that they built for themselves? And I see a lot of acknowledgement on TV of what they have are proud of. I have no interest in any of it, just to document it, that this is what they're displaying is how they use their time. And then Linda has on today <clears throat> SVU. Um, there was something on about something called a hate crime. And it's a spoof on NYPD within the New York City system. So, But it's TV producer land. So there's a parallel dimension. I don't know how much truth and accuracy there really is, I'm, but it's also the only form of communication the humans have used with alerting. They said on that particular episode, which I didn't catch the whole thing, I, I can't, it, there's so much violence in that show, I can't stomach sitting there and watching it, but um, <clears throat> they said there's 2,200 different identities of whether that includes countrymen or statesmen or culture of some sort or some form of differential that they've allowed to coexist in New York City in this modern situation during the same time frame that galaxy is known to be broken along that's affecting the planetary whatever, and I've been held here without access to who and what I need in order to get to wherever I need to be for a different purpose than sitting in New York City amongst 2,200 different competing IDs for I don't know what reason, for some social experiment that's gone horribly wrong as far as I can tell. Why would you purposely choose to hurt me and hold me in New York City, while the galaxy is already known to be broken and the planet isn't getting any healthier. For some sports tickets, that's what it feels like. For some ridiculous made-up medicine, that's what it feels like. It's a problem. It's a bigger problem than I know how to shoulder or communicate at this point. But I just know that this is not a healthy environment in New York City for so many reasons. Um, but hate speech is not my forte. And it's a really scary defense of corporate espionage, which I don't really want to partake in. But I don't know how to communicate the severity of the situation and how I am in the same, pretty much the same position I was in when I entered this human system, but in a worse position because things have moved dangerously while I've been without access to what I need. Um... And I've been hurt, abused, violated on several different occasions. And their are crimes that are domestic violence, but it involves land, sea, and air, and guardianship of the living population and the land, which then compli complicates things even further. Um... To I don't know how to simplify in order to get where I need to get and complicate so certain people aren't allowed to take advantage of further breaking the system or further harming what's around. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Cataruzzo. 
the Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.